Okay, I'm gonna demo throwing a two pound bowl. Should be a medium sized bowl, nice for serving or mixing in. Uh, I'm gonna start by throwing my lump of clay right in the middle of the bat. So I'm gonna throw it on a bat. It's easy to pick up off the wheel head. I'll push that down by hand, make sure it's secured well to the bat. I'm gonna get the wheel going. Oh, about half speed. So the, the foot pedal about halfway down. I'll take my foot off it and just let it go. First push down just right on top of the lump of clay. Make sure it's secured and starting to flatten out the top of it. And I'll take the side of my right hand. I'll push down on top of the piece as I start to squeeze in from the side with my left hand. And when I squeeze the clay in, it'll move upward and start to flatten out on the bottom of my right hand. And I'll continue adding water and repeating this process until I'm getting the clay nice and round. I will all compress that little bit at the bottom with my finger because I feel it can be bothersome. Your, your left hand can bounce up and down on it and um, cause problems. Then just continuing with the squeezing in and pushing down on top. And for this piece, I'm gonna I'm gonna center it with a little bit wider of a base because well, it'll be a little bit bigger of a piece than you know it won't have a narrow base like a cup or a mug might. So wind this out to maybe around. Five inches or so, and yeah, that's good. It's nice and centered, about the diameter I want for the base. And I'm going to take my index left finger, brace it with my right hand. I'm just going to start to push down, just to the right of center, I'm pushing down, making. A hole that's about twice the diameter of my finger and I'll push that down to about half three-eighths of an inch um, leaving a little bit of room left to trim and add a little more water and I'll start to pull out making that hole that I open wider and I'll try and open it just about to the width uh, I want the bottom of the bowl, but as I pull out, I'm going to make sure that I'm not raising up too much of a ring. As you saw me just push that down, and I'll actually even slow the wheel a little as I get out to here, um, because due to the increased diameter, it'll be traveling faster through my hands. So I'll just pull that out, and that's about four and a half inches. It's about the size I want the base of the bowl. Just compressing the inside, moving my finger back and forth on the bottom, smoothing it out, and yeah, compressing it so that it's less likely to crack later on. Now that that's compressed, I'm just gonna compress the rim, squeezing on both sides and pushing it down. Once I have it compressed, I'm gonna pull slow a little more. And I'm just going to start to move the wall of this piece inward um, by putting my middle finger at an angle, at my left middle finger at the bottom corner of the bowl. I'm just going to take my right hand and push the clay up that finger, even that middle finger on the inside in the same spot. Just having it be a brace for that clay. And as I move the clay inward, the whole piece becomes more steady. Stronger shape will help to raise up the walls nice and even. And compress just a little more. And now this time, I'm going to do pretty much that same step, but I'm going to start raising my middle finger on the inside as well and following it with my outside finger. Just going to chasing that bump up the piece. And I'm going to leave a nice fat rim because I'm going to spread this out quite a bit wider and it'll get much thinner. And at this point, I'm going to be trying to bring 
all the excess clay out of the bottom of the piece because it won't really get any wider. I'm gonna get most of my height from there, start to straighten this piece up. So I'm raising that, just making the rim a little wider. It's almost straight. Um, I'm gonna take a little of this water out of the middle of the bowl too. I don't want that to stay in there too long because it can weaken the piece as it dries. A little water to the rim. This should be the last pull for height. Go a little slower. Really gonna try and get that clay out of the bottom. Raising it up. Starting to angle out just a little bit. Go. And the next thing I'm gonna do is widen out the rim. I'm gonna be trumpeting the piece. And I'll try and bring the rim out to final diameter of the piece and so by stretching the rim first and then moving the clay out underneath it the clay at the bottom is stronger as I'm stretching the rim so once I have this trumpeted out I'm going to try and make a straight line from the foot to the rim pulling this a little more straightening that profile Looking pretty good. I'm going to take my red rib. I'm going to use it to smooth out the, the inside contour of the piece. I'm pressing a little on the foot. Remove a little of that water. And then I use the, the rib to expand the profile of the side. And Rounding out that shape and leading up to the rim. I'm just about getting to where I want it. I'll slow it a little more. Push it out a little more at the base. Give us a little bit more robust of a curve. It's looking pretty good. Just gonna smooth that transition a little from the base to the wall, to the bowl. Try and have it seem nice, rounded transition. Use the rim, rib a little here on the rib. I'm going to just barely hold the inside of the rim, smooth up the outside profile with the rim. Take a little bit of the extra slip off of there. <clears throat> Take the stick, my throwing stick, cut a little notch at the foot of the bowl. And we're ready to cut the piece off. So I'm going to slow the wheel head way down. Pull the wire tight between my two hands, put it flush against the wheel head, and then draw it underneath the piece. And I'm done with our bowl.